Hey guys, welcome back to Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Chair. You know, I wanted some chicken, but I didn't want ever normal, ordinary chicken because how much can a guy take an ordinary chicken? So I decided to make up some yogurt spice chicken. Sounds fancy, but it's not. And it is so easy to make and you're going to love it. So let me show you how to do it. All right, the first thing we're going to do is add half a cup of good old plain Greek yogurt to a mixing bowl. Follow this with a teaspoon of onion powder. Another teaspoon of garlic powder, just gotta have my garlic. Some smoked paprika, but another teaspoon. Half a TSP of chili flakes just for that heat. A teaspoon of oregano or oregano, however you wanna say it. Then we're gonna salt to taste. Lots and lots of ground black pepper, a couple of teaspoons, but it is entirely up to you. Then throw in a tablespoon of olive oil. You could use extra virgin, but I'm just using the pure olive oil. Another tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And of course, some fresh cilantro or parsley just for that greenness and flavor. Grab up the old spoon and mix everything together until you get a nice combo here. Mmm, and this smells absolutely wonderful, guys. But of course, you know, you can have whatever seasoning you want. This is just my favorite. I say that in every video, but always applies. But this is going to be so good. Yum. Next up, I'm going to grab up three good-sized chicken breasts and score them one way diagonally and then go across and score them the other way so that sauce sinks in and they look kind of cool. And of course, you know, guys, you don't have to use chicken breasts. You can use thighs, uh, whatever you like. This might even work with turkey breasts. I don't know. But, you know, use whatever cut of meat you like. Season the old breasts up with some salt and some ground black pepper. And of course, you can do this on both sides. Then grab up those chicken breasts and put them into that sauce. Oh, this is going to be so good. And of course, flip them and flop them around till they're completely covered. Now, here's the thing. You can put them in the fridge for a few hours or overnight, but I'm going to use them right away. You know, either way works fine, but I think they would be so good if you had the time to leave them overnight or even 30 minutes. But me, I'm just hungry and in a hurry. And I'm, you know, guys, I'm just really loving the texture of this. Oh, it's so creamy and going to be so rich and wonderful. Mm. I mean, it even feels good, eh? Alrighty then, they're completely coated, so I am just going to lay them inside a baking dish. And of course, if there's any leftover sauce in the bowl, just splash that over the top. Now they're going into a 400 degree Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius preheated oven for about 30 minutes. And you know, while that chicken is baking, I'm going to make me up a nice salad by chopping up some cucumber. And this is just an English cucumber. Where they ever got the name English cucumber? I don't know. If you know, maybe bloop me a line in the comment section below. I'm just curious. Follow this with a few slices of onion. And this is just a white onion. You can use red too. And of course, a chopped up tomato or tomato. I keep saying this, but I wish these tomatoes were in season because they are so good when they're in season. Now let's throw them into a bowl, starting with the cucumber. Then a few mixed olives that I've chopped up. Our tomato or tomato. The onion slices. Of course, ever so methodically put these in. Just kidding. A good dash of the old pepper. A hit of red wine vinegar. I, oh, I'd say about a tablespoon, but it's up to you. Then about another tablespoon of olive oil. It's just a matter now of grabbing up a couple of spoons and tossing everything together. And there you have an easy, simple, yummy salad that goes with the spiced yogurt chicken. How do you like them apples? Or salad. And I really love this kind of salad, guys. It's kind of like so good and so healthy. And it's great on a, on a summer's day. Of course, it's not summer out there. It's winter. But anyway, it is good. Got to make this up. But... After about 30 minutes, the old chicken is done. And this looks so good and smells absolutely incredible, my friends. I mean, just look at this. It simply cannot get any better. I don't think so anyway. Okay, guys, let's slice into this and see what we have. Oh, this is going to be just spectacular. Just look at this. Nice, fairly thin strips, and it's juicy. Oh, my goodness. So, so good. And it smells just absolutely incredible. Okay, let's see if I can get this onto the old plate here. Oh, oh. Looking good to me anyway. Okay, let's grab up some of that salad and get it on the side here. Oh, oh. And I mean, isn't this a meal fit for a king or queen? I think. 
And there you have it, my friends, our spiced yogurt chicken. Life does not get any better than this. All right, let's dig in here and get a little bit. I think, mmm, this is going to be so good. Oh, oh, just look at this. Oh, wow. And it's going to be so good with this salad. Be good with, um, I don't know, be good with rice because there's a little bit of sauce left over here. Even some mashed taters or a garden salad even. You know, just about anything. But it smells so good. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mmm, this is so good. It's got that little bit of creaminess because of the yogurt. You can feel the heat and that seasoning is just absolutely incredible. And you know what? I got a bright idea. I think this would be good with a wrap or even some kind of, you know, garlic sauce on top. And I'm going to have this in the salad. Mmm, it'll be so good. It is so good, actually, and if you decide to try it, leave us a comment, as always, and don't forget to give us a like, because it does help the channel out, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. See you next time, and of course, I am going to have some more of my spiced yogurt chicken with some salad. Mmm, 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 so good.